Welcome back to Raven Willow Farmstead. We arrived on this junk filled piece of raw land with the goal of creating abundance and building a garden that could feed us for an entire year. This was no easy task, but we want to show you how we turn this overgrown forest into a beautiful and productive garden using the materials around us. Our hope is to encourage you. If two average people like ourselves can do it, then almost anyone can do it too. We've never really cleared forest or built a garden at this scale. We didn't even know if the plans that we made are going to work out. But so far our story has been a lot of firsts. So we know that if we just put in enough effort, a little faith, and some determination, we would get the job done and we would have somewhere to plant our future. So we started just by clipping down all the small brush to make it easier to clear the trees. All these trees in here and then for another 20 feet or so had to come down. All we had at this point was chainsaw, pruners, and raw power. And we used what we had. Rob has this whole side of the garden, trees taken down, and then our whole garden will be uh, cleared, and then we have to haul them all out of the way. Welcome to our garden. So far, it's been a work in progress, but we're working hard at it. I got so today, oil all over me. how did you get chainsaw oil all over I you? I don't know, it must have been in the cart. Oh yeah. So the plan today is to try and clear up the rest of these logs. I'm trying to record here, thank you. <laughs> so you see the flag just over here? That's the front of the garden. And so we're trying to do the front half, which goes up to that bush. Um, this one, we're just gonna have to leave for now till we get the chipper in to take these uh, piles down. But the goal is today to get as much of this onto the piles and cleared as possible. Get to work, mule. Job. <laughs> I just did a bum with my pole. The plan was to grow enough food that would feed us for an entire year. So we cleared a quarter acre or 10,000 square feet to get the job done. But to do that, we had to remove all the debris the stumps, the logs, and the sticks. It's quite a task. So here we're cutting the logs to specific measurements to use later for our garden ties. As we're measuring them out, we're also delimbing the, the trunks of all the branches and clearing the area. Do you have gloves? Fan. Oh, Fan. Come on, Fan. Here. Why does he do that? I don't know. Fan, let's there. go. He's like scared of coming down here. Come on. Whenever he gets shocked, I don't know if he thinks it's the woods or something. Good boy. There you go. Good yeah, boy. He got shocked by the electric fence again. There's no electric fence down here. 
So yeah, we, maybe. Otherwise, he'll just run to the house. Yeah, he's got to just learn that it's the fence. Just don't touch the fence, and you're good. Mm -hmm. So so far, we've we've pretty much cleared the entire front half of the the garden, and then over here we uh, decided to clear out the area for the chicken pen. And then I'm going to come over and start downing these trees along that uh, orchard line. So we'll do the ones on the north side first. And then once we get to the road part, I'll switch and we'll start clearing on the south side. Because all these trees tend to want to drop towards the south. Look at the earthworm. Sorry, squirrel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're getting some compost delivered. We're gonna try and get it over in that section over there. We're worried about the wires and the slight slope, but uh, this guy seems fairly confident that he can pull it off. It's pretty cool. that's good so i started to kind of like trench it out okay and rightly there's a lot of roots because this was a forest yes i'm thinking we're gonna go back to our original plan of just laying out the logs and then backfilling and using stakes or rocks because to trench all this out through all of the branches and roots, it's going to be a lot of work. Yeah, it will be a lot of work. But that's the point. So see if this works. So we need a 10 foot, two 10 foots here. So our original idea for these garden beds was simply just to use the logs and lay them out and make like rustic garden beds. And I think that's still what we're going to do. I'm thinking like maybe just the logs, place them down, and then we could put in some stakes around the edges. We're trying to just use like what we have here available to us without spending a lot of money. Willy nilly thing. Yeah, 10 feet. 10 feet, okay. Just gonna roll it off. Um, you're gonna roll the whole pile. No. You, you want another 10 footer, didn't you? One me? log down, honey. Okay, well, <laughs> right in the middle of the bed, we have a tree stump. This is not the middle, it's the outside. Right in the middle, of the bed. Oh, this bed. We have a tree stump. You need a 10 footer there and 10 footer on the other side, I need right? A 10 footer here too. Like, so I didn't need to cut it that long. It shouldn't go anywhere. Only a hundred more to go.
black flies, man. They are no bueno. They keep going after my face. I suck at using this. What's in there? Some more steaks. Well, we've got the two in. Wait, do you want a third one in there? No. Okay, because you put a third one on there. Flat now. Perfect. Now, once these stumps rot, this will be an actual walkway. So that are we putting another piece in here, or is this now the bed going out? So like another son of a gun. So then we need a piece from here to there. That's right where that damn log is. I know. We can use the log. Butt up against it. Or yeah. Just dig out. Dig this out is beside pretty it. Yeah. That's fine. That can be like the corner piece. spike in so it stops rolling away. Uh, it'll be a 10 footer. Okay. Heave. Oh. Uh. groove for it to go in. See? You kick that Who put that right stump here? <laughs> right in the way. <laughs> it was me. It was me. Oh, well, I'm surprised you didn't blame me for that one too. Okay. Yeah, the stick is long. How much ease they go in though? That's good soil, right? Almost looks like that for sure. Yeah, very far. Oh. Thank you. I'm just afraid of the knife part. I would be too. <laughs> in my hands? What does that even mean? Hard work, this stuff, isn't it? <laughs> But you know what, Rob? Four times 20 is 80. Times two. Well, almost two. That's basically more growing space than we've ever had in a raised garden. Right? Just this. Well, yeah, like one, two, three, four. Our raised gardens, we had four of them about the same size this, as four of these. Don't fly. This was the size, uh, square footage wise, of our last house. Breeze gardens. So this should keep you busy for a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. Here. But when you think of this and how much food I was able to grow in this, 
Look at how much we're doing. Yeah. I think we may have gone too far. This is going to be huge. Oh. You didn't grow enough to feed us all year. No, I didn't. That's the goal. So we need enough to feed us all year and to be able to sell the customers. Yeah. Perfect. Looks good. Now let's, uh, let's fill it with some compost. Where are we going to drive it down the hill? That way, where it might get away from us, like a runaway train, or through the bushes. Runaway train sounds better. Runaway train. <laughs> runaway train, okay. Right beside the sketchy pile of wood. I would let it go down and you be behind it, not on the bottom. You'd be uphill from it, not downhill from it. What? You getting Yeah. I'm gonna wait till you clear. Probably a good idea. It's turning. Oh, you're turning it. Keep turning to your right. There you go. Now do a 180. Other way. Pull, not push. Okay. Which is the harder way, but you we'll do you. You know how to tip it? Push it right up against the log. Right. <laughs> grab, grab the yellow handle, lift up on it. Don't worry about the string. So how big did you say this was? 20 this way plus another and four feet across 64. 80, plus 64. 80 plus 64 that's uh, 144 144 square feet for our first garden bed and right on all right here we go Send those black guys packing. Hopefully. YouTube channel. Like, as their babies, as they're growing up. First day out. gonna go plant our cabbages. We're off to go plant our cabbages in the bed. 
very first garden. It's just the corner. There's going to be four other corners the same size as this. It's a four by 20 foot uh, length and then another four by 20 on that side. These cabbages look terrible. They got fungus. Yeah. I don't have a lot of faith in them, but they have better luck, better chance in the ground than they do in this tray. So we'll see if they can survive. Ah, uh, out. Some of these look pretty good. Their roots are so tiny, but I'll be planting some more like direct seed sowed uh, cabbages because what we got here is probably not enough for us. Ideally, we'd probably have waited till next year. You know, we like to jump on things. Until we get some kind of a hose or rain catchment system down here, I guess they'll be hauling it. <laughs> yes. We were so happy when the Amazon lady arrived tonight. We're just like, give us those nets. <laughs> oh, we're trying to build the next garden bed and the bugs were just in our ears, eyes, nose. What a relief. <laughs> Using these natural materials has its challenges and all the knots and irregularities really frustrated the perfectionist in me. I tried really hard to get exact four foot pathways for the wagon or wheelbarrow and so we measured the garden ties so that the exterior would be four feet wide and the bed length would be according to the plan that I did. Most garden beds were either 16 foot lengths or the corners were 20 foot lengths. Yep, I have silk loose. Yeah, but if that ever caved in, Callie, come it's here. It's not caved in, but the plow might shift. Where? Right here. Ooh. Well, they can pull it out. There's little shavings. Yeah, there's little shavings in there. Same problem I'm having with one of the ground, ground rods that I put in. There's a way to get it out, I just don't remember how. Ow, yeah. What? Oh, I just hit my hand. I'm not sure how well the first year's garden is going to go. 
Because usually the first year you get nailed with all the pests and the uh, the soil isn't quite ready for it because the soil that we're planting in is relatively fungal, right? Because it's been forest. It's been forest for a while, yeah. So and it's going to take it a while for it to turn to more of a bacterial soil. So instead of tilling the ground, we've decided just to put compost on top of it and eventually some bark mulch. And then uh, the roots will find their way into the ground. It's a pretty soft, loamy layer on top and then yeah. gets into a bit of clay mix underneath. Thank you for following along as we continue our pursuit of food sovereignty and our goal of building a garden that can feed us for an entire year. We hope that you'll join us on the next episode of Raven Willow Farmstead.